it's so important to remember that the decision would not immediately outlaw abortion everywhere, but what it does is it leaves it up to the states and which state you live in will make a really big difference in what this decision means for you. So right now, an NBC News analysis shows that 23 states would ban abortion after Roe is overturned. So there's really four things you need to remember. Number one, 13 of those states have what are known as trigger laws. Those are laws on the books that would go into effect and ban abortion statewide pretty soon after Roe is overturned. So one example, Idaho. That state's trigger law would make performing an abortion a felony just 30 days after any decision from the Supreme Court that grants states the authority to ban abortion. So once it goes into effect, anyone sentenced for performing an abortion could face two to five years in prison. Number two, another five states still have abortion bans on the books that were passed into law before Roe and never repealed. So that means they could potentially start enforcing them as soon as Roe is overturned. So if you look at Michigan, for example, a 1931 law could go into effect that makes it a felony to perform an abortion with no exceptions for rape or even incest. The governor has filed a lawsuit to overturn that law, but it never successfully has been repealed. Three, four other states have so-called heartbeat laws, statutes that would ban abortion after cardiac activity is defect detectable, which some states have said as early as six weeks into a pregnancy. Now, many of those statutes were blocked by the courts, but there's a strong chance that they'd be enforceable if Roe is in fact overturned. And fourth and finally, there are 16 states plus the District of Columbia where abortion rights have been codified, meaning those protections are written explicitly into state law. And one last thing to remember in all of this whole say is that even if you do live in a state that has codified abortion protections, the states where laws banning or restricting abortion are likely to go into effect are home to more than 180 million people. That includes the South, where more than half of the nation's black population lives, along with a third of our Latino population, Jose.